Hey up everyone and welcome back to the north for another episode of Battle Brothers Legends on Legendary Difficulty. So last time unfortunately we had to say goodbye to both our good friends and raiders Caleb and Flufford. You will be remembered very very fondly. At the end of the episode the Undead Scourge did pop off and I did save the ambition but I don't think I'm going to get super involved in the Undead Scourge. Probably not anyway just because I'm not the biggest fan of this late game crisis. It's a bit stodgy and a bit sloggy. But, there is something behind this screen which I am going to show. I am actually going to do a contract for it. But there's a reason for that, and let me show you the reason. This is the reason. Oh, that is the most money I've ever seen for a contract in this entire game. That's, it's, it's just unthinkable. It's crazy to think that we'll be on almost 60k after this contract. I mean, I can't even imagine it. Who's here? Xeraxes. Lots of ancient honor guards, an ancient priest, a horn hunt, and a plethora of ancient gladiators. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a bit of a slog. But the 36k, I mean, it has to be worth it, right? And there's going to be famed stuff here, so it's got to be worth it. If we manage to do this, and I assume we will, but unfortunately we might lose some people on the roads, then I think I can safely say we're probably ready for the Black Monolith to do it like... Maybe today, depending on how long this lasts. Maybe next episode, if this takes quite a long time. But let's go. I'd say we, we've probably seen worse, but I'm not sure if we have. Well, we'll see. It's going to be a game of letting them come to us. What can you do with the first swing? 75. Yeah, okay. Half dead. I'll take half dead. I mean, they're already dead dead, but you know what I mean. I sound like Simlish. Dead dead. Well, I for one can see a ridiculous amount of nets. A ridiculous amount of nets. Every ancient gladiator is going to have one. So three, six, eight, ten. There's one. Eleven, twelve. I don't actually know how many gladiators there are. Oh, bloody hell! Come on, start throwing them. Let's get it. Let's get this over with. God, there are so many nets. How many gladiators? Really, from that distance? Oh, so that's the Raxes. It'll be the Kopesh. Very cool looking Kopesh. If it is a Kopesh, I believe it will be. Thank you. Game out. And fire. Unfortunate misses on that one, but don't worry about it. Oh, I wish I did more. I wish that hit. Never mind. Switch his life. I think it's time we switch to this bad boy. Maybe stand here in preparation. Very close, not quite. Got there with our Zignet. Oh boy. Now, can we consecrate with Holy Flame like here? So is that, it's affecting you guys straight away, but not the Skellingtons. Which is a little strange. Do you think if it affected those guys straight away, it would affect those guys straight away? But, eh, you know, like we said in the Discord, it does seem a little bit not ideal. All right, nice one. That mace is doing absolute work. Okay, that's two more. That's some overwhelm. I do like it. There's the whole hand. Ooh. Right, I've got a direct line to the Ancient Priest. That could work. Maybe. All right, tickle damage him a little bit. Man, that's a 95. It's not doing super well for some reason. Very strange. Very strange. Can you shoot a priest from there? Nah, don't worry about it then. Don't you worry about it. Neither can you, unfortunately. Slowly breaking through in that regard. Good 95. You're going to come in. You're going to free net? No? God, so many more nets to come. There was so much worse in store. Nice one. Hold that thought. Uh, hold that thought as well. Nice. First cheeky stab of the day. Uh. Nets, man. It's going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Well... Not if we have anything to say about it, apparently. 
For now, don't quote me on it for later. God, friend weapons ain't doing shit. Okay, so they can both exist in the same area. Okay, that's good to know. That's not really on. Get him out. Good job, Barry. Good job. Oh, I wish that was doing... For God's sake. Problem. Matic. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about Zygna. Wow, he is actually on the verge of running. Well, so it begins. Here comes the end. So they say. Oh, God damn it. That's really not doing all that much, unfortunately. Uh, Ancient Priest also now hiding. Great. Good miss. Can you stun the big guy? You can. Alright, Hal. Good luck. Not bad. Learn to dodge, buddy! I mean, that was a two roll, so you can't really dodge that, unfortunately. Zygna. Do the same, please. Learn to dodge. A little bit. I might have to use Hildar to rally. Maybe. Oh, quit it. Will ya? Just quit it, will ya? That was a 95 miss. Don't like highlighting it, but it's happening a lot. A lot. You come back? Alright. Yeah, Zygna's gone. I can't really get him out either. This might be finally the end for our big boy. It might finally be the end. Can't really twist and shout and get him out. Nope. How incredibly rude. Oh, come on now. Okay. He's dead. Unfortunately, I think Zygna's not far behind. Unless you can get in there and help him bandage up. I don't think so, though. Unless... Okay. I'm not saying there's a chance. But you never know. It's a very smoky... Sorry. Experience right now. Please learn to dodge. Ah, great. It's all well and good having a spear wall, but not when this happens. Not spear wall, but a wall. Just a wall in general, actually. God, is that all the energy you had to do? Damn. Knight Rider, come back here. How much are you bleeding? Are you bleeding? Pick some up what you can. Oh, Theodore, you got another one dead. Kill! God. It's not really going to help, though. Not in this regard, unfortunately. Oh, get fucked, mate. I, yeah, okay. Well, I can't keep bringing him back like that, unfortunately. Okay, saved yourself. Yep. God damn, there he goes. Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. You might be losing more of this, right? This is a hell of a fight. You're gonna choose to do that instead of that. Switch the weapon, but Caleb left you. Ah, oh, piss, I really needed that hit. I really need that to hit, but it didn't. Oh, I need that to hit as well, but it didn't. Fix him up. It's not gonna help. 
It's not gonna help. Ah, oh, the sheer nets. The sheer nets. As always, you know, the sheer armor, but... Oh, I can't keep doing all these 80% misses. I just can't. There's another one. Uh, Fenrir. Sorry. Weirdly, that, that actually works. You're too tired. You currently can't throw. Oh, my God. Here we go again. I don't know where you're going, buddy, but it might not be a good idea, depending on where you're going. Yeah, there. Ah! Oh, Hilda. Not putting that thing to waste. I can't, I can't hit it in good faith without accidentally killing someone else, so sorry if I'm not doing it. Stay in it, buddy. Come on. Possible light at the end of the tunnel, maybe. Good dodging. Great dodging. Okay. Who's injured? Like, who's really injured? You guys are, but you'll be okay for now. Can you get up here? Right, there for next turn. Break out. In we go. Slight, slight damage. Ah, dear god damn, man. Whew. May have lost one. But in the grand scheme of things... It's 35 grand, man. I just... God damn it. Can't really say no to that. I think most of you could probably appreciate that. How are you not... I oh, hit him in the head. Don't need to hit him in the head right now. Mad Jack. I think Mad Jack is the most I'm worried about. Out of everyone. Can we clear this up somehow? I can overwhelm him. And I can keep the Hound on Caspian, but Caspian is going to run some point soon. I don't trust that, sorry. Still not dead. Still not dead. Well, I hope the person who wanted us to do harder contracts out there is happy. Because, man, these contracts are much harder. Much harder. Let me tell you. Okay. Can't get him out. That's fine. That's less fine. You don't scare him, apparently. I'm glad you don't. Nope, not hitting anything. There we go, that's a bit better. Break out. Okay. Good dodge, good dodge. That's gone. Save yourself. Oh, right. Okay. Switch to that. You can't, you haven't got the energy. Caspian got out at least. Although Fenrir is locked down, which is not good. Not good at all. Do not want my... The, the best boy to die. Everyone's too tired to do anything. Best boy! Wow. Just think of the payday. Just think of the payday. Where is that goddamn undead hound going now? And can I hit him? No, I cannot hit him. Hmm, kind of can. Man, so Zygna died. Or he's down. 
actually. I, I can't see a bag. Unless that's his bag. That might be his bag. Or he might be the undead bag. I'm not sure. I can't quite tell at this point. Um, and I think Hal didn't die. I think Hal was struck down, but he's already got an injury. So whatever it's going to be next, I don't know, man. He did hold the line, though, and that's the important part. He certainly did. Oh, man. Right. Bloody hell. This is that hound. Right, let's keep everyone else kicking. Right, it's just the undead hound. It's just the hole in the hunt. Oh, Christ. So Zygna might be dead. Hal is struck down, and we lost best boy Fenrir. Brutal. Truly brutal. That was like, what? 15, 16 gladiators? Plus the honor guard, plus the priest, plus the horn hunt, plus the champion, who went down pretty easy, actually. Well, I guess for 35,000 crowns, it's kind of worth it. Sorry to say, but for losing one person, and unfortunately best boy, for that amount of money, it is kind of worth it. Oh, of course you went there, you stupid bastard. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is fine. Somebody please just decimate this whole and hunt. Thank you. Okay, what's what's the damage, as it were? Oh, they're both still alive. Okay, so Hal lost his eye. That actually isn't a problem at all. He doesn't need it. So, good job on surviving with a with a permanent injury that actually isn't going to make any problems. Um. And funnily enough, Grigori might be in the mood to give you a prosthetic eye. So, hey, Zygna, on the other hand, is a lot worse. Maimed foot is going to be quite difficult. I don't think there's any sort of prosthetic, like, brace that they can make for that. So, when he's standing in place, he'll be fine. He'll be able to destroy stuff. Um, but getting him there will be the harder part. So, good thing Adrenaline might actually offset that a bit. Uh, Sister leveled up, Godric leveled up. So actually, we didn't lose anyone except Best Boy Fenrir. 35,000 crowns for Best Boy Fenrir's life. Man, even with that amount of money, it still doesn't feel worth it to some extent. Archaic Carver. So it is a cleaver. It does look very Kopesh and Necrosavanti. 42 to 66. I mean, I need a, I need a reference point, honestly. Um, I know it's for damage that they've rolled on the effective against armor because the numbers are weird. Let's grab everything. Yep. Back to Rothberg. Does that that usually these contracts are like, oh, you've got to go to the other side of the world to go and do it? it? wasn't really the other side of the world. It was literally here. I'm not complaining. You won't hear me complaining. Oh, Hildar, join the ranks of Eldrak and Alwyn, are we? A few brothers come back to you with the most curious of stories. Apparently, Hildar, the ever sure footed cell sword, well, he's more like the Silent Arrow, managed to make a bit of a name for himself in Dawnland. Whilst carousing with ladies on a tavern staircase, the banister broke, and a damsel went careening downward. With a horn of ale in one hand and a wench wrapped in the tender grip of the other, the mercenary stuck his foot out and managed to catch the falling mistress on the toe of his boot, quite literally bringing her to heel, much to the roaring applause of the inebriated crowd below. You ask where he is now, the mercenaries laughed. Dropping trout easily impressed, what else? Of course, of course. Looks like Hildar might be having children after all. Are you all ready for this? For this big old jump up in power? In, well, power. Worth. Wealth, I suppose. We won't have to do any... Technically, we won't have to do any contracts for a while if we didn't really want to. Count Edelbart von Gotha is deep in a chair and perhaps even deeper in his thoughts. So when his guards had to tell him that you're there, repeating himself three times until the nobleman looks up. He stares at you, then at the artifact. His body rises from the chair, as though it was animated by the impetuous of some unseen force. He takes the artifact and wheels around, rushing to his desk where he sets it down and squats before it, practically prostrating himself, observing it with atavistic fervor. The guard hands you a satchel of- it must be a pretty goddamn big satchel. You best leave, Cellsword. Oh, just casually give me 36k to tell me to piss off. Alright. 56,000 crowns. And still, it would only make us last for 48 days if we never did work again. We are so expensive. We are so expensive. Yeah, I don't really care too much about that. Right. Do we have anyone of worth here? Not really for the people that I'm looking for. Is there anything worth here? Well, that's not bad. Minus four, that's all right. I know that we just got loads of money, but maybe we shouldn't just start going crazy and blowing it on literally everything. Plus, we got two of these things in, la in the last episode, so not too worried about that. They're going to get healed in the background. Uh, St. Guido's, the liars, will break out. I mean, the damage is crap. I'm sorry, the damage is crap, so 
No, thank you. Right, I'm gonna sell up stuff I'm gonna get as repaired, because damn, that we took some we took some damage. We took some serious damage. Okay, so tune in a few days later, not well, I say not much has changed. A few things have probably changed. If people have been focusing the top left, you notice how money has gone down a little bit already, and a number has gone up here a little bit already. So let me introduce you to the next character. His name is, and where is he? And I'll explain what's going on in a second. His name is, and this is how you want me to pronounce it, Artyom Ushta. And he is a retired soldier. He actually got some pretty good stuff. He got Ambitious, which is decent and unpredictable. Uh, unfortunately, he does not have hate for nobles. Um, and he does not have any favorite enemy perk for killing nobles, not that I can see. But I will build you as I see fit. Uh, interestingly enough, when I hired you, there was also a cheap as all hell famed item of a pole hammer. Sorry, a pole mace. And it was dirt cheap. So I was like, oh, I'll hire him and I'll get him his preferred weapon as well. And you came in as level six. Level six? So you've already got mace mastery. And uh, this thing is... A chance to hit the head is plus 23% and the damage is increased. Now, usually I don't really care too much about chance to hit the head, but because you already have unpredictable, then your chance to hit the head is more than half every time you smack down. So that's going to be insane. I think you're going to be insane in terms of that. The main thing to worry about is your health and fatigue because you are a retired soldier. It's always going to be quite low. So... My main thing is, is that you've actually got an insane melee defense, but you want me to be in the back line. But I do, I have given you rotation, one of the few people who actually has rotation in their perk list. So you might end up getting swung into the front every now and then, and I think you should be able to dodge pretty damn well. I just need to get you some better armor. I haven't been able to really find anyone else. I think I know who I want to get for number 25 for the sake of narrative. I just can't find him anywhere yet. Oh, well, almost. So I decided to camp after doing that little bit of a blurb and... I actually didn't know that there was a like a prosthetic to fix an arm. So Grigori offers to fix Aurelius' arm. He asks for coin to cover the cost and requires the use of company tools. Here's 2,000 crowns and take 20 tools from around the camp. Oh. Oh, that's not how you fix an arm, buddy. Grigori amputates Aurelius' forearm and attaches an artificial one. Aurelius cheerfully slaps Grigori's face as they make finishing touches. Let's try it. Is, is that better? I mean, I know it was broken, but did you have to cut the whole thing off? A brand new arm for a sword to be swung with. Of course, the user loses most control in their arm, all feeling and must manually change the position of their fingers with their other hand. But still, at least it's something. Um, well, that's gone up. Like, that has definitely gone up compared to having a broken elbow. So, the me your melee skill and melee defense is a lot more on track. Don't care about your range skill, I'm sorry. I don't think you do either. Okay, so amputating your arm and replacing it with a prosthetic forearm was actually... Better. Actively... Okay. All right. Grigori is the man with the plan. I thought he was going to do Hal's eye next. Which, by the way, Hal, even though you have lost an eye, I think you look even cool. I think you look cool now. I think you look very cool looking like that. Anyway, helmet back on. Um. Okay. Well, let's continue camping. Some people are very close to getting their perk point for training. And then as soon as we're done with that, I'll try and see if we can find something a little bit crazy to do. I did say I was going to do Black Monolith, but I have read up on it because it's quite different to the regular uh, Black Monolith, since it is on Legends, and obviously Legendary. And comparatively, I am just going to like, I'm, I'm letting this run in the background on purpose, don't worry. And on Legendary, on Legends, in the vanilla, it's about 40 enemies, and it's just the Conqueror, plus Ancient Honor Guards, plus I think one or two Ancient Priests. In Legends, or Legendary... It's at least 60 enemies. 10 of them are Necro Savants. 2 of them are Necro Savant Lords. About 6 of them are Holon Huns. And then I think there's a few, few priests thrown in there. And then there's also the Conqueror itself. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for like the 8 to 10 Necro Savants. I think that's a little bit bullshit. Like, I, I think that's just an instant death. Like, I don't know if there's much point right now. It'd be a case of, I think I need to get everyone up to, like, level 20 to even think about doing it. If this was, like, if we were doing the standard vanilla Black Monolith, I think we'd be able to blast it relatively easily. But just the added Holon Huns... Oh, yeah, did I mention Holon Huns? There's, like, six Holon Huns as well. Um, just the added Necro Savants and Holon Huns offsetting our line constantly on top of having to do the barrage of all the Ancient Honor Guards. I just think we'd die. I just think we'd, we'd lose the entire team just because of how we'd have to complete, constantly rejig 
like constantly rejig. I'm really not feeling that sort of like gamey bullshit today. So I think I'm just going to try and find some really fun contracts and hope we find number 25. I, I don't actually think we're going to be seeing the Black Monolith for quite some time now. It might be on the same level of when we do it in the other series. Oh yeah, go on, Darth Radonis, go give her a hand. Yeah, and now Darth, Darth, Darth Radonis is also going to be having some children in a later series, mayhaps. No, 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 you've made the moral right, you made the moral reputation of our company increase. We're going to have to go kill some peasants. We're going to have to go kill some peasants. We're back to being cruel. We're not dreaded anymore. Damn. Okay, I've given it some time. I've let them, like, thanks to that first contract of the start of the day, we've actually had time just to sit and train and train and train and train. Not quite the hyperbolic time chamber level of training, but I think we did a pretty good job. Did anyone level up to get their perk? Aurelus did and got fearless. And I think Sister did as well when I stopped it for a second. Let me have a quick look. Ooh. Oh. What did you get? Oh, you got you did it as well. You got tough. Actually, that's quite good. Ha. Ah. Nice. Very nice. Uh, Edmund just leveled up standardly. Velasco just leveled up standardly. How close are you to actually? Oh, only four. What did you get? What did you get? You got iron lungs. Oh, wait. Oh, that's great. That's really good. Nice. And then Aureldus, what did you get? You got fearless. I mean, you're now over 50, which is actually really, really handy. And now I'm going to give you a movable object. Oh, look at that. Look, your defense is back with your prosthetic forearm and with a movable object, your melee defense is basically back to normal. Can you imagine how, what it would be if you didn't, if you just had a regular arm? That is crazy town. We'll ask you to standardly level up, so let's get back to 95, 43, and 125. Uh, Hedman, you did a standard level up, 84, oh god, 34, god damn. That is pretty decent, plus two isn't really going to matter too much, and I don't really care about your rage defense. You know what, let's pump up the resolve, just because you now have mind over body. So, the higher it goes, yeah, all your fatigue costs are reduced by 9%, which is pretty damn decent. There is also life as well, which is, what is it? So, maximum fatigue of head and body arm is between 25 and 35, which is currently. It's bang on 35. So, maybe we go life then. Maybe this is sort of like the area we want to we want to stay in this area, similar to like how Bertolt has got life. And it's make his melee defense at 49. Don't get me wrong, 15 of it is here. But that means that he gets quite a bit out of it. So you know what, let's go life. Oh no, you get you get the melee defense out of balance, right? Yeah, you do. But life stops the armor damage. Yes, only receives 70% of any damage to hit points and armor from attacks. So literally bang on the money. You do technically have balance as well, so we could actually do that. So then you have 49 with just the armor that you've got. So it'd be really hard to hit you, but when they hit you, it would do a fair bit of damage. So I'm glad to see how that goes. Sister, I think close combat ar so close combat archer, damage is increased by percentage equal to your current range defense when using a ranged weapon. The handgun is a ranged weapon. And it's increasing as a target two or less tiles away. This only has two tiles anyway. Damage is decreased by the same amount. So the decrease doesn't matter because we can't fire that far anyway, unless we've got elevation. And it does say any ranged weapon. So, and it is a ranged weapon. And she's got an insane ranged defense. So, yeah. There you go. And Mad Jack. Oh, I don't know, man. I might just give you gifted and just pump up your powers. I think I'm going to do that. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's get out to 74. Let's get your, finally get your fatigue over into the 80s, which will be very good. And sure, I'll pump up your melee defense a little bit because you do find yourself in combat on the off occasion. God, tough is going to be really, really handy. Okay, well, I guess I'll camp for like one more day just to see if anyone else goes over the mark. And then let's go see our new character in play. And I think I've left it long enough that we might be able to find some new characters dotted around the map now. So I might be able to find my number 25. God, this guy's turned into an MVP of the whole series. Carrying a leather tome in hand, Gregory shuffles into your tent. Without a word spoken, he lays the book on the table and takes a step back. You set your quill pen down and ask what, it's, what it is. He says to open it. 
Sighing, you open the book and come to find pages littered with names and events you know well. Here's a history of the company and its adventures. The Annals of the Wankers! It's here! He's made it! He's actually made it! Amazing! You flip through the pages, seeing old tales that warm the heart and some that break it. You close the book and push it back across the table. The historian asks if it is alright and you nod. You say, give it to the men to read around camp, for it will surely lift their spirits. The deeds of the wankers shan't be forgotten. Everybody lost will be remembered in the annals of history of the wankers. It's there! Oh, that's really good. Man, I'm so glad I hired his character. It's been great. It's been so good. Okay, it's time to get moving. One more person went over, and that was Zygna, who got... What did you get? You got Athletic. Builds up two less fatigue for each child traveled. Does this actually offset this? Mm, not quite. So you're still going to need an additional perk point to move, but doing it will cost you less fatigue. So... Tit for tat, I guess. Got to figure out what to give you. <gasps> Wait. If we, you know what? If you, I know you enjoyed the foil for a while, but it seems that you're enjoying the mace, right? You do have mace mastery. You really do. I think it's time. I think we. I think we double down and say finally, a weapon that Zigna actually enjoys so much he keeps to it because he's tried like three or four weapons in this entire series so far. But we finally, we're finally using one, which you have, you could have a mastery over. I think it's time we do it. Let's do it. All right. Fantastiche. Say goodbye to the flail, everyone. There's some people in the list down the line who want to use a flail, so that's absolutely fine. Get up to 83, get up to 24. Very, very good. Not bad, not bad at all. Give you 114 there to make it 75 over all. Man, I don't know. Could give you Berserk, could give you Rotate, since you are going to be a big old tank boy. Um, and it would make sense to protect the other people. But you're also a massive bastard, so do you actually care that much about protecting other people? I don't know. I don't know. That's a question. That's a good question. It's a very good question. Muscularity would kind of work as well. It would put you up to 42 to 52, which would be quite decent. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. Also, being immune to stun is great regardless. All right, let's go stretch our legs a bit and just go do an easy contract. Let's go make the money that we've, we lost. I say lost. We've invested into the company, and we get to see how RTM does. I think with that poor hammer, I think he'll do quite a bit of damage. And I think Zygna will go a little bit more ham as well now that he's got a mastery in it. Ah, just regular thieves. Nobody interesting to kill. This should be an absolute wash. Come on, then. I know we should be going to kill the undead, but... Uh... Let's just do an easy one, and then I might do, like, a big undead contract to end the day with. I did say I didn't really want to get involved in the undead scourge, because it's a bit sloggy. But if there are some contracts which lead to, you know, champions, I'm all for fighting champions regardless. Ooh, a 20-on-20 20 20 fight, is it? Let's see how you do. I do need to get you some slightly better armor, but for the time being, I think you'll be fine. Oh, the dog. Oh, that makes me sad seeing the dog. Well, everyone, all dogs go to heaven, so don't worry. All, well, in, in Fenrir's case, all dogs go to Valhalla. Or Mechingard. I can't remember what, what I called it. Meginheim? I think I think I named it Meginheim for the series. So I was like, well, I could call it Valhalla like every other thing ever. Or I could make my own thing. And I think I called it Meginheim. I did call it Meginheim. Yeah. So it's not Valhalla in our in our universe. It's Meginheim, which effectively translates to Home of the Powerful or Home of the Mighty. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Put my own little spin on it. So all dogs go to Meginheim. There you go. Get out of here. <laughs> that was very deflated very fast, wasn't it? Uh, it's nice just doing a Johnny Stanley contract, just to really stretch the legs and just not worry too much about everyone. Hmm. Who are you? Good day, sir. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. It'll never get boring. It'll never get dull. A lot of bandit veterans with silly hats, aren't there? Yes, there are. Don't seem to be coming down the middle. Oh, man. Your, your melee defense is going to be great again. It's going to be great again. That guy didn't stand a goddamn chance. Well, thanks, Doc. You buttered him up. It's nice to have a shield back again, isn't it? So what's your melee defense now? 43. Damn. What a time. All right, stand back. Can't tell if that thing's doing more, but I mean, it did, it basically ripped through the armor completely, so, yeah? I think it probably is doing the right amount of damage with the, uh, the new perk. I think so. I think so. I'll have to do some testing. The Duke of Destruction! Oh, what an edgelord. What an absolute edgelord. Alright. Duke of Destruction. 
Whatever, man. Right, come on, Anartium. Let's get involved. God, Theodore has so many abilities that I almost miss the right one every single time. That was a 16%. Good job. Oh, apparently it was a 66, even though it said 16% chance of hitting. Don't play with the numbers, game. I'm watching you. All right, well, you could go fight Volfari the Scourge and just lock him down. Sure, why not? Why not? That man is dead. I'm pretty sure that's doing more damage. I'm, I'm almost adamant that's doing more damage. Nice try, jackass. Well, new guy. Let's see how you do. Don't get shot. That's happened before. Ha-ha! Psych! And then... Ah, uh, 60. Well, he's running. Oh, you've come down here. Wanna play a game, dear? Alright. Okay, so what's the chance? 21. I mean, what's your shield? 73. I guess, I guess the shield is up, and they are pretty big shields, to be fair. Alright, fair enough. Chance of 13 rolled 12. Finally put the repost up to, so you can come back, and he rolls up 12. What a bastard. Right, they're both almost dead. Go on, punch the Duke of Destruction. Show him true destruction. He didn't put up the shields. Oh god, he rolled a 91 and a 100. He sucked big time. Sorry. Oh, I thought you were going to put your back into it because you got hit in the back, but you didn't put your back into it. You just... Oh, wow, all right. Well, how about you do some inspiring? You know what? Inspire the new guy. Let's see what we can do with that, eh? Anyway. Fire! Oh, you... Mm. Yeah, okay. That is... Yeah, that is... That is doing more damage. For sure. Anyway. I think that's pretty rude of you. This guy's straight up gone, right? Why can't I shoot that guy? He's in the range. Weird. Well, whatever. He's gone. He's long gone, Silver. So is he, technically, in a different in a different sense. All right, buddy. Yeah, first kill for RTM. Oh, you've also got rotate. Oh, of course you've got rotate. Yeah, because you do actually have a pretty decent melee defense. I want to utilize at some point. This guy, this scourge guy. And Mr. Duke of Destruction are not really putting in a shift, are they? But who they apparently are. Well, anyway. You're all disappointments, and you should feel like one. Make him feel like one. <laughs> At least he's tired. At least he's tired. Can you just get in there, please? Thank you. Great stuff. Lucky. Okay, this guy's not bad. This guy's not bad. Well, he went out. As he probably did in life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is the undead scourge, after all. Sometimes you just forget, you know? You go, I'm just having a nice fight. Of course, the dead want to interrupt and come back. Ow. Running? He looks like he's running. Come on, 26. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you never know. But you've got to be knackered. Just accept that you're knackered and lay down and die. Oh, you know, going go in a fight of glory, you could do that as well. Are you out of ammo? I think you still got one more in the chamber, though. Hell yeah. Okay, well, that's rude. Hey, <laughs> scared the other guy by being like, Jesus Christ, that could have been me. Yeah, yeah, and it will be pretty soon. Don't worry. All right. Lock them down, but you don't have to kill them, Theodore. I know you don't want to. Someone else will come and deal with that in a second. So let's have a look at lunge. So jump attack, you're a little bit too in the fight to actually do that right now. We can definitely do it at some point. Bye, Juke of Destruction. Not very destructive, were you? 
Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. That's gotta hurt. God, that man really wants to get away. I don't think it's gonna happen, though. Don't think it's gonna happen, bro. Don't attack my monk. He's done nothing wrong. Except live. Maybe you're not a very good archer after all. Just a highlight. Ah, Mr. Dodge Man over here. So yeah. Uh, that would have been a great that would have been great. He, not super close though, so don't worry too much about it. We'll get there when we get there. Nice! Nice one, Mad Jack. Very good job. Right, he's on the way out. Just there, uh, just put your shield up, buddy. Don't worry. So we'll come clean it up in a second. Hmm, maybe not. Blast it. Nice. Very nice. Cool. See? Nice little easy fight just to stretch our legs a bit, eh? I mean, these guys are screwed. No matter where you, no matter which way you look at it. Ugh, they just keep coming back, don't they? Go home. Oh, that was a double kill. He's like, welcome to the future. Kablam. Use a gun instead. Nice one, Blackwater. This guy must know that he's going to die, right? He must know. Well, he's going to put up a fight and he's not going to put his shield up, so fair play to the guy. It will be his final mistake. Eventually, when I kill him. When I ev when I eventually kill him. Alright, well, the Duke of Destruction didn't want to stay dead for too long. And he came back. That's nice. He's going, he's going straight back where he came from. Ah, oh, 46%. Nice. That was a on a wing and a prayer, and it worked. Fire Duke of Destruction. Oh, nice hit, Artyom. Nice. And Headman's going to come clear it off. Well, Wayne leveled up, which is very good. I'm pretty sure you're close to level 15. Theodore leveled up. The only thing with that hiring you at level 6 is we're probably not going to see you level up for quite some time. Eh, nothing crazy there. That's not a bad light mix. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll bastardize some of this armor and give it to our new guy. And uh, let's go find, let's go maybe find number 25. That'd be really good, wouldn't it? All right, sold up. I've given him a little bit more stuff. His fatigue is flagging a little bit, as we imagined. I think I'll just give him Brawny for his next perk, so that way he'll get about 10 back. So then he'll be on about 68. You have hit level 15, you beautiful bastard. Absolutely amazing. Oh, man, I don't even know what to give you. What could really, what could really benefit Wayne the Bruce? Do you have, do you have Berserk? Oh, my God, you have Berserk. That would be disgusting. That would be absolutely disgusting. Although clarity... Do you have clarity? You've already got clarity, don't you? Oh, man. Inspiring Presence would also be good because then I could get the recruits back, but I don't care too much. The Berserk would mean you could fire that thing twice in one go. Ah, oh, screw it. Power up. Okay. Now, I would say I was going to chill from the Undead Scourge a bit, but I did walk across a contract which has a very important sense, I think, to the wankers, mainly because we don't really care too much about these settlements and these houses. But there's one settlement in particular who we have an affinity with. People who have watched this entire series so far know what you're talking about. The home of Hargamus. The place which has left letters like camp around, and they're sort of, you know, they're acceptable people. They're not bad, they're not absolute bastards. And we had a bit of a good thing going on before the Noble War kicked off. But, whilst in Salzburg, I have found that Hargamus is under attack from the undead. And I think we finally repay them for all the nice stuff they did for us. Even though we are a dreaded warband, we, uh, we give back what we've been given. Respectable and honourable, at least. But also, loads of us might die in battle, so you never know. And hopefully on the way there, we find number 25. Wow, look at you. There's no more overtakers on the list, though. Give me a barbarian or a wild man, please. Probably gonna find one more up north than anything. All right, we're here, Hargamoose. What's the damage? Especially for 10 grand, what's the damage? Well, let's prepare for the oncoming onslaught. Do you happen to have any people here? You have a beggar. 
That's gonna be a no from me, dog, unfortunately. Oh, boy. What do you mean? We're friends. You like us. All right. Everyone have a drink. Everyone chill out for a bit. Let's train for the oncoming onslaught. Actually, how many people are in training? Let me just go back to the camp quickly. Basically everyone. Well, they literally just spawned out of thin air, but they are being... Ooh. Drummer... Dromic Chieta? Chieta. Chieta. Whatever, bro. Okay, well, it's nighttime, and it's the undead, so I'm actually going to do something a little bit wild. I'm going to switch out our, like, ranged people, because they're not really going to do that much damage in this regard. Also, it's nighttime, so not ideal. Okay, I brought in the hybrids, but I didn't bring in, like, the pure ranged people. Oh, and Krozak, apparently, and Wayne. But they do have, like, a range skill of 133, so I think that'll offset the darkness quite a bit. <laughs> darkness being Justin Hawkins. Oh, Wayne with Berserk. This is gonna be... You guys are all dead, by the way. I don't know what the uh, town told you, but you're all dead. I probably shouldn't tell you that. I think I have some appreciation for this town at least a little bit. But these guys, no chance. No chance at all. Wow, but he's, he's going straight in. By a chance, have you spotted the, the good guy, the cool guy? No? Okay, I guess we'll wait over here then. If he does any, if he does any damage at all, I'll be impressed. There. Alright, lock that area down. Uh, come here. Come hither. Oh, hello. It's another cleaver. Man, we get so many two-handed cleavers. Give me, I don't know, a flail? Well, I don't know, we're not really using them anymore. Give me another axe to give to Torfin. Although I don't really think Ancient Honor Guards really use axes, so it's a bit of a kind of whatever. Where am I throwing? Still hit. Still hit. What are you doing? What are you doing, you mad bastard? Bayard, come here. Yeah, it's damage. Yeah, damage is damage. Right, new guy. Oh, that was a 73% miss. Yeah, come up here. Let me see if I can holy flame the entire ground. Alright, slam. Just because he's got a bit of a... Janky leg doesn't mean shit to him. Not a thing. Come on, 95 is still missing quite a bit, which is really weird. It's really weird how much it's still missing. All right, he's gone. See you later, broski. Now nah, you're not hitting shit. Okay, you roll a two. Fair enough. Okay, no point really throwing those. Just get to the axe. Get in there. Nice one. This, yeah, this man is so dead. I don't even know what he's doing, honestly. There's a bush there, isn't there? Okay, got there. Oh, he did some damage. Look at you. That's cute. Break him out, please. Thank you. The man is dead. That man is also almost dead. I just don't know what he expected. Really don't know what he expected. Oh, man. High rolls. Just want to give you some attacks, but... Can he do it, Captain? Can he do it? There we go. Right. You've got that handled, right? No, I'll send you both there. Why not? Let's Holy Flame there as well. Let's light this entire sucker up. Are you sure you're a champion? Okay. Goodbye. Ow. Keep on walking. Is there a tree there? Oh, it's a bloody tree. Nice work. Get him out. Uh, get ready for next turn. Come down here. Okay, this guy up here, he's got the right idea. And to be fair, these guys who are not getting involved have also got the right idea, technically. Bye, buddy. Nice hit. Nice hit. See you later. There's a tree there, isn't there? I've already said that. Uh, 
Um, what can you do? What can you do? I don't think anyone's really injured, are they? Nope. 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 Not, it's not worth it. Not worth it for what it is. Just come over here then. Theodore, you're doing your job, buddy. Don't worry. Sanctify. Can you get up and around? You can get there. That's fine. God, also some famed one-handed axes would be really good. We just don't have those. Like, at all. Please, please don't hit Bertolt. Ah, oh, double kill for Bertolt. Nice one. Yeah, it's still a 60% chance even in even at night time. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Good lord. Alright. You get there and smack still. No, but you can do this. Pull him in to do it. I think. Once again, tree. The tree there as well, isn't there? Oh my god. The setup for these maps sometimes. Yeah, it is a bit of a wanky angle, isn't it? He's still gonna get it. I'm gonna bend it around the corner. Well, at least they're being nice about it and help, coming to help out. Nice one, Velasca. Finally, we can get around this bloody tree. Goodbye. And hello. Good job, Darth. Only getting more powerful with every single punch. There it is. Right. That just leaves a few more. Almost there. Go to... Ah, uh, yeah. Forest map tiles. Don't... Mate. Oh, he's going to be angry about that one, let me tell you. At least you're attacking a militia and not Wayne, who's right there defenseless. Because you could have done that. But you didn't, so I respect that. Attack them instead. Oh, he's going to get his own back a little bit. Tapa tapper. See you later. Last guy. Goodbye. All right, not many of the militia died, but I mean, the ones that ran in being all suicidal definitely died. Darth and Artie are up. Good job. And we got the Immemorial Madness, which is... Yeah, it's whatever. I could definitely sell it. That's what? The fourth cleaver? The fifth? The fifth two-handed cleaver? We've had, we've had a lot. We've had a lot. Oh, God. They're back again. But Wait, hang on. Are you guys just handling them? Woo! Was that it? Oh, no. There's more. It just so happened that a group of nobles appeared and killed them all before I even managed to get involved. Which is fine, because there was a Necros of Antlord, which I'm not really feeling today after, you know, all the things that happened last time. And we just get to train with our friends, so that's kind of nice. Oh wait, Hargamoose is on fire, that's less nice. Boy, I sure hope they didn't burn down Hargamoose whilst I was just camping and training. <laughs> I think there are some Necros events somewhere. I imagine those are the blank spaces, so that'd be like two. Listen to me, militia people. Oh, you, you look like you might be okay. Militia vet. He might he might do all right. If you want to survive, don't charge with them. You've already ignored my advice. I'll see you, I'll see you in another life, mate. Don't get cocky just because... Oh, uh, well. Are you really a veteran? If you're a veteran, you probably want to run in there like that. I'm just saying. Man, the Necros Avants are going to have an absolute feast with these guys. Instantly dead. Well... Nothing to eat there, Necrosavant boy, wherever you are. Or Necrosavant girl, wherever you are. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Actually starting now, are we? Good! You'll like it when we finally start. Let's just get on with it already. Hmm, alright. That is. Here we come. Now, where are they gonna go to? Yep, understandable. You're going to do the exact same thing. Man, this militia veteran has got his day cut out for him. Let me tell you. Can you get there? Ooh, very close. <laughs> also, what? So dead. He doesn't even know it yet. Maybe I just shoot him in the back and put him out of his misery. I'm just saying that as an option. Right then, let's get in there. Shield up. Alright, let's see what's cracking. Ah, oh, well, them for one thing. Nice! Yeah, that'll do it. 
Told you, they're going to have an absolute feast whilst they're here. Absolute feast. Until we kill them, of course. But until that point. Oh, wow, you hit a Necro Savant. That's actually kind of impressive. All right, bleed your own blood, buddy, not mine. I think we have an actual war against Necro Savants for everything they've done to us in this entire campaign. They've been the bane of our lives. Wow, I'm surprised he's not dead, honestly. It's gone wide. Very wide. Oh, why am I not doing unarmed lunge? Keep forgetting it's an option more than anything. Nice one. Also, nice one. See you later. I feel like we are kind of built for destroying armored opponents. Like, not just because Ragnar's got an insane hammer, but generally speaking, maces, hammers, throwing axes do actually do quite a bit of damage in that regard as well. Like, yeah. Feels nice. Don't hit our new guy. He only just got here. God, even with the shield, he's still getting smacked a bit. Oh, but today he rolled a 2 and a 12. I mean, yeah, can't really do much about that one. Fair enough. Uh, come down this way, please. You stay there. Eh, leave it. Let's see. Oh, that's awkward. That's less awkward. Ooh. Man, these guys do not know what they've walked into, do they? They really don't. They really don't. That's really not doing all that much damage. Bop it. Uh, you almost did. You almost did. Man, you've got so much health. Fair play to this guy. He actually almost killed a Necro Savant. Almost. He didn't actually, but almost. God, stop picking on the guy. He just got his shield back, man. Stop picking on him. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot of whiffs in a row. Can we get here and start with this nonsense, please? Thank you. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Well, Militia, you were good body bags to keep them busy. I appreciate it. But your services, your services are evidently not really required anymore, as the game is telling you. It's not very nice to hit him with 10s and 20s and 2s when he's just got his power back. You dick. Right, well, there's one. Uh, oh, maybe don't fire. Eh. He got in the way. What can I say? We're assholes. Ooh, actually. Debilitate and miss. Of course you went to go hit Wayne. Of course you did. Oh, great. Yeah, of course the militia would come back as the undead and help them out. Bloody militia. Well, I'm not really helping out with anything there. All there, apparently. All that for. Um, maybe? That could maybe work? Guess we'll see. Nice one. Oh, nice one. Why can't I see him? Is it a tree? I assume it's a tree. Uh, Darth? Yeah, you can choke out a necklace of him. Yeah, maybe. I... You did actually roll a 1 on the choke, but it only did a little bit of damage, unfortunately, just because he's not souped up right now. Not right now. Right, can we deal with the most annoying man on the map, please? God, how much health do you want, you asshole? You go and run at him. Apparently not.
Great stuff. He's just gonna move around anyway. Like, fire. Nice. Okay, good dodge, because he's getting really annoying now. Can we just put this guy out of the, out of the way? Please. Someone. Ah, oh, nice one. Nice one, How? Then we got a net on them. Has anyone got a net on them? Nah. You got a net on you? No. Right, he's like super duper surrounded. Come on now. Come on, where's he going to teleport to next? Come on, show me where he's going to do it. Yeah. Okay, Dolph, by any chance could you push punch a Necro Savant to death? I would I would very much enjoy seeing that. Come on, show me what you got. Or maybe you could like choke it out. Punch it. A lunge doesn't go gonna work, is it? He did punch it to death. Yeah, that Necro Savant got exactly what he deserved. These hands are rated E for everyone, including Necro Savants. Good job. Great job. How leveled up? Torfin leveled up. Alright. More Necro Savant Shimmering Ashes for the. Are we done? We're done. Give it a second. And pop. And there we go. Hargamoose is saved and we're back over 40k. Let me have a quick look at our leveling. 12 is level 13. He is definitely on the way to getting to level 15. It's just going to be a while still. Hal is also level 13, which is pretty decent, if I don't say so myself. How are you doing, new guy? You're level 7. You're not doing bad. You didn't take a term... A temporary injury for that. I was going to say a termination injury. A temporary injury for that. So that's good. And Wayne, you're sort of okay, but let's pull you out for a little bit and put Gregory in here instead. And Darth is loving a life, mainly because he just punched a Necro Savant to death. And we want to kill as many of them as possible without any losses, so that'd be nice. Is there still only a beggar here? There is only still a beggar here. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find our last man for the day. Ooh, and whilst waiting, whilst waiting, another one has popped off. This is all happening now. So Regnar now has Iron Lungs, which is plus three for recovery per turn, which is actually really good for your character because you don't have the best fatigue, but the fact that you're now going to pump, like, what, 18 to 20? Mainly because thanks to the uh, veteran stamina buff. Man. That should actually do us a big old favor. Okay, I need to figure out what perks to give you. Man, I kind of forgot about all the perks that you keep getting through this this kind of event. Screw it, let's just go killing frenzy. You're gonna go do a disgusting amount of damage. You get loads of kills anyway, so it's only gonna factor into that, and then you're gonna be doing over at least a hundred damage as a minimum each turn, which is pretty damn crazy. Ah, uh, you're not what I'm looking for. You're not what I'm looking for. All right, I've searched like the entire north for who I was looking for, and it's currently absolutely no dice, or even like one of the three at the top as well. I mean, there's about another 13, 14 people on the list, but it's just, without that um, perk that Fluff had had, and it was losing, what was it? It was the pre-fill contracts. It's really actually made much a massive difference to say that two and four people extra could recruit. So I might have to end up finding someone who takes, like, Inspiring Presence just to get it back, because it was a massive boon for this, just for this series, just so I can get more of you guys in a lot easier as well. But I think I'll look into doing that next time. This might be a bit of a shorter episode than usual, but I don't really have a lot of time on my plate at the moment, so I'm trying to record where I can at least put out a full episode to an extent. I always try and aim for an hour, but it might be a little bit under an hour, but we'll see after editing, because it could be over an hour and I just haven't realized. But at least we found one new person at the very least, and you've been doing pretty well. You've only got one kill, but uh, the spirit is there, and I'm sure the spirit is very much willing. Also, hopefully, the flesh. Next episode, I think it'd actually be really fun if we go and find some actual barbarian famed items. I kind of want to get into that vibe of the, uh, the drip, as some kids call it these days. And hopefully, I'll try and find number 25 off camera by the time of the next episode, so I can then do number 25's backstory and also do Artyom's backstory at the same time. Because he does have a bit of one, to be fair. He does have quite a nice... Well, I say nice one. It's not nice when you think about it. But it's cool that he's got one. Anyway, let's get on with the roll call in the next episode. Maybe we'll do some barbarian stuff to basically break up the undead stuff. Because I don't want to do undead stuff constantly because... Ish! Necros events, man. And also stodgy. Although we do blast through them quite quickly. So, eh, tit for tat, really. Anyway, let's have a quick gander. Some good things and bad things happening today. Got a few more fame things here and there which will be utilized, especially this bad boy. Unfortunately, we did lose Fenrir finally after, what, 25 episodes? Longest, longest standing dog in any series ever. Like, straight up. 
and probably the dog with the most kills ever as well. So big respect. He will definitely be happily nuzzled in Meggenheim. Waiting for Caspian eventually, but Caspian will be staying around for just a bit longer. Okay, obviously the two hounds are here because whenever we come to the north, I take the hounds out of Mad Jack's inventory just in case the wolf thing pops off and I want to keep his inventory full just in case it doesn't interfere with the event because the event doesn't know that we're in ledge. So we'll see, we'll see. But let's get on with the roll call. I'm glad everyone else is still alive for the time being. No deaths today, just a few more permanent injuries. But honestly, between Hal and Zigner, we don't really seem too phased by it. We don't really seem too phased by it. So... Zigner, you are on 123 kills. Black Order, you are on 23 kills. I think I'm going to try and get you a better sword for the next episode as well. Ragnar, you're on 247 kills. Ereldish, you're on 171 kills. And now you've got a better arm. I wasn't expecting him to cut it, up, cut it off straight away, though. Theodore, you're on three kills, but one of them was an Ancient Gladiator, so it's still technically on dead kills, so that's absolutely fine. Knight Rider, you're on 131 kills. Bertolt, you're on 161 kills. Torfin, you're on 134 kills. Darth, you're on 14 kills. Caspian, you're on 244. Ooh, winning by three. Krozak, you're on 203. Sister, you're on 56, and now you're doing way more damage. I think this is working. I think this is working, which is a good sign. Arsim, you're on one. I'm sure that'll go up quite a bit. Bayard, you're on 111. Hal, you're on 78. Hildar, you're on 241. Okay, all right, all right. So it's still first, second, and third. Interesting. Savoy, you're on 14. Hedmund, you're on 21. Velasquez, you're on 93, very close to 100. Berry, you're on 121. Wayne, you're on 193, also close to 200. Also with Berserk, it's about to get more disgusting up in here. Mad Jack, you're on 52. Godric, you're on 31. And Grigori, you're on 18, also a big MVP of this episode. Just for, just for the events, man. You fixed up Ereldus, and you've also created the Annals of the Wankers, which I've always sort of talked about, but now it's literally... It exists. It exists. And I'm a big fan of it. But as always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more than ever you will enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you know the next time we're going out with the Wankers in Battle Brothers, or the Gang in Miasma, or any live streams down the line. Can't wait till then, feel free to join the Discord. It is linked in the description below and on the channel itself. And if you'd like to support the North even further, feel free to buy us a cuppa on coffee. I really do appreciate anyone who has done in the past, present, and future. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the Wankers.